At Castle Black, Sam attempts to comfort Gilly since she is worried of being sent away by Esser Alisar Thorne, which would most likely happen if Alisar is elected as the new Lord Commander. Sam reaffirms his promise that wherever Gilly and her baby go, he will go too in order to protect her. Later, Sam is present when Mance Raider is executed by Stannis Baratheon for refusing to bend the knee, and comforts Gilly, who cries in his shoulder. Sam is reading a book on previous Lord Commanders while Princess Shireen Baratheon, his second cousin, teaches Gilly how to read. He also learns how the young princess survived Grayscale and that Gilly also had sisters who perished from the disease. At the choosing for the 998th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, John reveals Stannis's offer of legitimization to Sam. John states that it was always his dream to be Lord of Winterfell, but he reveals that he will decline the king's offer, much to Sam's surprise. When Maester Aemon asks if there are any more candidates wishing to run against Esser Alisar Thorne and Esser Dennis Malister, Sam puts John's name forward as a candidate. Janus Slint mocks Sam by calling him Slayer and pointing out his love for Gilly being similar to John's love for Wygreed, and Sam retaliates by publicly mocking Slint for hiding in the pantry with Gilly and her baby during the wildling attack. Sam reminds all of the Black Brothers present that John was Gior Mormont's personal steward, that he led the force to deal with the mutineers at Craster's Keep, and took command of Castle Black's garrison during the wildling attack when Thorn was wounded. Sam's speech ultimately results in John being chosen as the new Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. At a meeting of the Night's Watch, John questions Sam about Maester Aemon's absence. He reports that Aemon apologizes for his absence because he is not feeling well. John tells Sam to take good care of the old Maester. Sam later witnesses John personally behead Yano Slint for refusing to obey orders. Sam drafts numerous letters for John to sign in order to request the Northern Houses to send more men to man the wall. John signs all of them until Sam gives him a letter meant for Ruse Bolton, the new Warden of the North. John is against asking for help from the man who murdered his half-brother, but Sam convinces him that they need all the help that they can get. Sam departs when Melisandre enters the room to speak with John. At the library, Sam reads a note from Slaver's Bay to Maester Aemon updating him on Daenerys' situation. Sam praises the courage of Daenerys but Maester Aemon worries about her safety because she is all alone, under siege, and with hardly anyone to guide her, while he, as her only living relative, is useless and dying thousands of miles away. Then, John enters and asks to speak with Aemon in private, so Sam leaves them. Later, Sam tells Gilly about his wish to go to Citadel and become a maester before he was sent to the Night's Watch, when Stannis Baratheon walks in. Stannis reminisces about how Sam's father, Randall Tarly, defeated Robert Baratheon in the Battle of Ashford. Stannis wants to know how Sam killed the White Walker and Sam tells him how he did it with a dagger made of dragonglass. Stannis muses that it is abundantly available on Dragonstone. Sam has been researching dragonglass and how it can kill White Walkers, but has yet to come up with anything. Stannis tells him to continue his research and leaves him to investigate the further weaknesses of the Army of the Dead. Later, after John has left for Hardhome, Sam and Gilly visit Maester Aemon, who has fallen ill and grown delirious. Aemon imagines little Sam as Egg, his long-dead brother. Aemon's condition steadily deteriorates as the day goes on, and he dies in the night. Sam eulogizes him before lighting his funeral pyre, declaring for all to hear that he was the blood of the dragon. Esser Alisar whispers that Sam's friends are abandoning him one by one. Afterward. Gilly is attacked in the dining hall by two brothers, but Sam and John's direwolf, Ghost, come to her rescue. Sam is badly beaten, and Gilly takes care of him before the two have sex for the first time. Gilly continues to tend Sam's wounds. Ollie enters with some food, having heard what happened. Once Gilly leaves, Ollie expresses concern at joining forces with the wildlings, particularly Tormund, who led the raid in which his parents were killed. Sam reassures Ollie that John knows what he is doing, and that unless he is successful, neither the Night's Watch nor Westeros stands a chance against the White Walkers. Sam explains this is a hard choice John had to make, however unpopular, and then tells him not to worry, as John always comes back. Ollie appears unconvinced. Samwell reunites with John, who is despondent, saying that the mission was a disaster and they only managed to save a small fraction of the wildlings at Hardhome, where the Night King, 
the leader of the White Walkers has revealed himself to the participants of the battle, and tens of thousands of wildlings have been raided as whites. Sam points to different wildlings passing by and notes that each of them would have died if he had done nothing at all, so it wasn't a complete failure. A few nights later, John tells of what he saw at Hardhome to Sam. Sam asks John if he can travel to Aldtown to study and replace Eamon as the new maester of the Watch. He feels there is no other way he can help them as he cannot fight, he is also afraid for Gilly and her child's safety, and wishes to take them along. John reminds him that the Citadel will also not allow Sam to be with women, but is humored to hear that it is already too late for that. Sam promises he will return, they toast to that and John sees his only friend off.